So the first part about learning vibrato is to get the hand motion, the motion that we're going to be using when we do our vibrato um, and just really get teach your hand how to do it. Um, it requires a really relaxed <clears throat> left hand. Um, and I suggest that you start, I'm gonna set my violin down here. Uh, if you can find something that rattles, a can of, a little thing of Tic Tacs works really well. When we're here at school, we use our vibrato machines, a little egg, Easter egg with beans in it. Okay, like actual beans, okay? And the way we practice it is like this, okay? Cello and bass players, we practice doing this, okay? And like this, so because that sort of teaches the hand the motion, you can hear it rattle as you do it, okay? That's the important part, okay? Then after you've kind of got that under control, then we move to the instrument, okay? And you're gonna put the base of your hand, this is for violins and violas, cellos and basses, your instructions will be a little different. I'll show you in just a second. So for violins and violas, you're gonna take the base of your hand, you're shifting to fourth position. Fourth position is where the base of your hand hits the shoulder of your instrument. And you're gonna take your second finger, the middle finger, and you're gonna put it on your second string, whatever string that is. So for violas, that's uh, the D string. For violins, that's the A string. So you're gonna put that second finger down and we wanna roll the finger up and down the string. This is the motion we're looking for. Now, let me try to show it at a couple of angles here. So we're looking for this motion, okay? Kind of rotate around a little bit. You will notice my hand is not touching here. There's no, you cannot grip the instrument here and still do vibrato, because when you try to move your hand, it moves the whole instrument. Notice my hand is free. Notice my thumb, however, is still on the instrument. It's not hanging out here. Okay, it's still on. Here. My wrist is anchored right here. Okay, now the reason why I anchor the wrist is so that you don't do this. Okay, so we wanna keep the wrist in place and this is the motion we're looking for. All right, the very first vibrato exercise, this is what I'm checking. Can you do this motion with a relaxed finger? Now I'm watching this knuckle right here, okay? That knuckle should be kind of opening and closing. I should see some flexibility there. That's what I'm looking for, okay? And then we're gonna speed it up. And when you do the actual exercise, um, you're gonna do it with, uh, you have to do it with a metronome, okay? Now when we do the exercise, we do them in three different speeds. Uh, and I use uh, words that are food, so we're always hungry whenever we get done doing this. Um, we're gonna do salsas, tacos, and enchiladas, okay? So the salsas are quarter notes. Salsa, 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 salsa. The tacos are eighth notes. Taco, 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 taco. And enchiladas are 16th notes. Enchilada, 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 okay? So when we do this, we start off really, really slow, and I'll do an example for you in just a second. We start off really slow with just salsa, 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 taco, 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 taco. So for the first level, all we're doing is salsas and tacos, and all I'm looking for is good motion. All right, now I'm gonna show you this on cello. Okay, on cello, the motion is more of an arm motion. We're still gonna to go to fourth position, so you're gonna put second finger on the orange mark, okay? And then we're still looking for the finger to rotate. We're still looking for flexibility in the finger, okay? Your hand cannot touch on the side, which is a cello, so you shouldn't have been doing that in the first place, okay? Thumb is still anchored on the back of the neck. This is the motion we're looking for. Okay, so salsa, 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 taco, 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 taco. Okay, so that's how the motion works. That's what we're looking for. I'm looking for a nice rounded motion. I'm kind of watching the wrist. I want to see it going up to the ceiling, then out, up, out, up, out, up, out. If you do it like that, you're going to get a nice rounded motion. All right. All right, now I'm gonna show bass players. 
So the motion for bass is very similar as the motion for cello. Uh, I'm using my bass, I'm not using a school bass, so there's no little orange mark on here. But uh, basses, you'll do the same thing. We're gonna put second finger on the orange mark, just like I asked the cellos to do. And then it's basically the same motion, okay? So once again, I'm watching the wrist, or we're going up and down. Thumb is still anchored on the back of the neck, right across from second finger. And I wanna see everything moving. It's a full arm motion for cello and bass. That's what I'm checking for, all right? So salsa, 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 taco, 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 taco. Now for everyone, whenever you're doing this motion, you maybe have noticed that my fingers are not down on the strings. Like I don't have all four fingers down at the same time if I'm trying to do fourth finger vibrato. Um, you can do that, but it's much more difficult. What most people do is they only put down the finger that they need. All right, so in the case, if I'm using second finger, second finger tends to be a pretty good vibrato finger for most players. Notice pinky, third, first finger, they're all picked up. Just the finger I need is down, okay? So keep that in mind, the fingers come up, you're playing one finger at a time. We're looking for a nice, loose, flexible motion. That's what we're after here. All right, if you have any questions about doing your vibrato, please let me know and I will do what I can to help you out.